The gentleman yields back. At this time, the chair recognizes the chairman of the full committee, Mr. Upton, for five minutes. Administrator McCarthy, welcome back. We look forward to our discussion on EPA's proposed 2017 budget. I know that the agency has an ambitious agenda that it would like to put in place before the President's tenure in the White House is completed, but the EPA should focus, I believe, its efforts on less on finalizing a, a wave of new regs and more on getting back to the basic functions for which the agency was created. Improving public health by ensuring the quality of the air we breathe and the safety of our drinking water supply, that's the reason Republicans and Democrats came together in 1970 and created the EPA. It was also the reason Congress passed many bipartisan public health bills like the Clean Air Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act for the agency to administer. However, as the heartbreaking events unfolding in Flint are a sign that perhaps the EPA had strayed from its core mission. Make no mistake, the system failed at all levels that resulted in the lead contamination problems with Flint's water supply. It's clear to me that EPA's poor performance of its duties under the Safe Drinking Water Act were, in fact, part of the problem. I hope that in the same bipartisan spirit that launched EPA in 1970, that we can rededicate ourselves to the basic public health protections that are the reasons that this agency was brought into existence. The most recent example being our bipartisan work to strengthen the public disclosure requirements in the Safe Drinking Water Act. Not only was it a step in the right direction, more importantly, I hope that it provides the reset needed at the agency to focus on doing the tasks assigned to it under the Safe Dr Drinking Water Act, including compliance verification activities. What we're doing now will not prevent damage in Flint, but we owe it to the people of Flint as well as other communities across the country that may feel that they're, that may face lead contamination water supplies to sharpen EPA's oversight role in protecting public health. I know many people in D.C. are eager to lay blame on one political party or another when disasters like Toledo, Gold King Mine, Flint threaten a community's drinking water regardless of who's responsible. We need to address the crises that those people face. I'm interested in being part of the solution and I know that you also want to be part of the solution. It's going to take creative solutions and surely there'll be challenges and I know that we can put our heads together and put a greater emphasis on problem solving and doing right by the American people rather than playing the blame game and that's certainly my perspective. And while we're talking about places where we can and should be working together, I want to follow up on what John Shimkus indicated with our committee's reform efforts for the Toxic Substances Control Act or TOSCA. As you know, we worked very hard to put together a bipartisan bill that addresses legal shortcomings in the law. I know that your agency would like to see reform occur in this Congress. I look forward to your support in helping it get to the President's desk. We look to working constructively with you, and I yield back the balance of my time. Chair recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr. McNerney.